Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Achieving success and happiness in life largely depends on your ability to interact well with others. The capacity to influence and persuade people is essential in reaching your goals. While success means different things to different people, the involvement of others remains a constant factor. Although you're responsible for your own happiness, the impact of your relationships with others can't be ignored. Strong interpersonal skills will open doors for you. Maintaining the self-esteem of those around you while fostering strong connections is key. Studies highlight that robust social relationships are a major predictor of success and enduring happiness, even contributing to a longer life. So improving your people's skills leads to more cooperative, appreciative, and accepting interactions with others. This summary isn't about pleasing everyone but about building genuine relationships. By focusing on your social skills, you'll notice a natural shift in how others respond to you. The principles you'll learn are straightforward and based on common sense, serving as essential reminders of the importance of effective interpersonal interactions. Although Mark Recklaw offers 62 strategies in how to become a people magnet, time and space constraints allow us to offer only a selection. So, get ready to begin this journey to enhance your interactions and unlock new opportunities. Chapter 1 Understanding and Valuing Others Imagine you're at a social event, encountering two different individuals. One dominates the conversation with stories about themselves, while the other shows genuine interest in your life. Which one would you prefer to spend time with? The essence of understanding people is recognizing their primary focus, themselves. This isn't a negative trait, it's a fundamental aspect of human nature. Embracing this reality can enhance your interactions and relationships. In conversations, the most engaging topic for anyone is their own experiences. By asking thoughtful questions and listening attentively, you can leave a positive and lasting impression. Reflect on a time when someone made you the center of the conversation. It felt gratifying, right? This method makes others feel valued and important, fulfilling a deep-seated human need for recognition and appreciation. Making others feel important is essential. This isn't about manipulation but genuinely valuing the person in front of you. Offer sincere compliments, remember their names, and listen without interrupting. These gestures show that you see them as significant and they will likely respond positively to you. Agreeing with people whenever possible is another effective way to build rapport. Disagreements can lead to conflict and resentment, while agreement fosters harmony and goodwill. Even when your views differ, finding common ground helps maintain peace and strengthens connections. First impressions matter significantly. A warm, sincere smile can influence how others perceive you within seconds. People quickly decide if they like you, so a smile can set a positive tone for any interaction. Connecting with people involves discovering shared interests and showing genuine curiosity about their lives. For example, in Barcelona, discussing football could foster new friendships. In professional settings, researching a person's interests beforehand can lead to meaningful conversations and opportunities. Accept people as they are, acknowledge their positive traits, and show gratitude for their efforts. These attitudes cultivate positive relationships and make you more likable and influential. Finally, always consider what other people want, not just your own desires. Put yourself in their position and communicate in terms of their needs and aspirations. Whether in sales, leadership, or friendship, understanding and addressing others' needs is key to building strong relationships and achieving success. Chapter 2 Building Rapport Through Effective Communication Effective communication is an essential skill that can significantly improve relationships and interactions. Here are some key strategies you can use to become a better communicator and connect more deeply with others. 
Imagine being in a room full of people where everyone wants to be heard, but very few actually listen. Have you noticed how rare it is to find someone who truly listens? Mastering the art of active listening will make you stand out. People love to talk about themselves, and when you give them your full attention, they feel valued and respected. Maintain eye contact, nod, smile, and show genuine interest. Ask follow-up questions like, what happened next, or how did you feel, to encourage them to continue. Silence the urge to offer immediate advice or share your own stories. Focus on fully understanding their words and emotions. By listening deeply, you'll draw people to you and form stronger, more meaningful connections. Getting others to agree with you relies more on strategy than on luck. Start by providing clear benefits for them to say yes. Use questions that naturally lead to affirmative answers to build positive momentum. For instance, do you want to feel happier? Or, do you want the best results? Such questions create a pattern of agreement. When offering choices, frame them between two positive options, like, would you prefer the red or the blue option? Rather than a simple yes or no question. Confidence is essential. If you expect people to agree and believe in what you're offering, they're more likely to say yes. People naturally want to talk about themselves and be the center of attention. But if you focus on others and resist dominating conversations, you'll leave a lasting impression. Before any interaction, consider your goals. If you're seeking someone's approval, business, or goodwill, keep the conversation centered on them. Let others share their stories and only talk about yourself when invited. This selflessness in conversation makes people appreciate you more and want to be around you. Instead of inflating your ego, listen and engage with genuine interest, and you'll build stronger, more rewarding relationships. By applying these strategies, you can significantly improve your communication skills and build more meaningful connections with others. Chapter 3. Enhancing Your Life Through Acts of Kindness, Gratitude, and Respect Everyone has a set of basic rules they should follow to enrich their lives and relationships. Gratitude, respect, and recognition are simple yet powerful tools that can transform your interactions with the world and how the world interacts with you. Let's see how. Picture yourself in a cafe, receiving a perfectly brewed coffee from a barista who smiles warmly. You feel genuine appreciation and respond with a heartfelt thank you. Expressing sincere and frequent gratitude attracts positive experiences and deepens connections. Use people's names, maintain eye contact, and make them feel valued. Practicing gratitude can transform your relationships, making you happier, more connected, and emotionally intelligent. Have you ever considered how a simple thank you could impact your life? The golden rule, treat others as you would like to be treated, is a timeless principle. If you seek compliments, admiration, and love, offer them generously to others. Small acts of kindness and respectful phrases can significantly influence how others perceive and respond to you. Politely correcting a wrong order at a restaurant, for instance, can lead to a positive outcome and mutual respect. This approach makes others feel appreciated, enhancing your interactions and relationships. Start now and observe the difference it makes in your life and those around you. Remembering someone's name makes them feel important and respected. Their name is closely linked to their identity, and using it shows you care. This small effort can leave a lasting impression and build a positive association. Think about how you feel when someone remembers your name it likely makes you feel acknowledged and valued. Charismatic individuals frequently use names in conversations, making others feel like the most important person in the room. Whether in a store or a professional setting, remembering and using names can create a positive effect, fostering trust and stronger connections. Incorporating these basic rules into your daily life will enhance your relationships and personal growth. Practice these principles consistently and witness the positive changes they bring. Chapter 4. 
inspiring others by leading through example. When you receive a heartfelt compliment, you feel valued, don't you? People crave appreciation and acknowledgement, which boosts their sense of importance and productivity. Research shows that teams with leaders who offer sincere praise perform significantly better. Yet, beyond statistics, think about the joy and motivation a simple, genuine compliment can bring. So, make it a habit to find and voice sincere praise daily. Remember, praise should always be honest and focused on actions, not just individuals. Consider how you prefer to be asked for something. Direct orders can be off-putting and counterproductive. Instead, ask questions that guide others toward the desired outcome. Phrasing requests as questions like, have you thought about this option? Or, what do you think would work better? Empowers people to find their own solutions. This approach fosters creativity, maintains dignity, and enhances cooperation. By encouraging others to contribute ideas, you not only achieve better results but also build a more collaborative and positive environment. Gandhi was once asked to give some advice to a boy on how to eat less sugar. He waited a month to give that advice because he himself needed to stop eating sugar first. This story illustrates the impact of leading by example. If you want to inspire change, embody the behavior you wish to see. Whether it's going to the gym, answering every call, or participating in training, your commitment will motivate others to follow suit. Accept that you can't change others directly, but by being the best version of yourself, you inspire others to improve. Your actions will influence not only those directly around you but also their extended circles. Think about the power of focus. When you're considering buying a new car, you start seeing that model everywhere. This selective perception shapes your reality. By focusing on people's strengths, you see more of their positive qualities, enhancing your relationships. Imagine looking at your spouse or colleagues and noticing their unique strengths and achievements instead of their flaws. This shift in focus can transform your interactions, highlighting shared goals and commonalities. Focusing on strengths and similarities fosters understanding and cooperation, creating a foundation for resolving conflicts and building stronger connections. By adopting these practices, sincere praise, subtle guidance, leading by example, and focusing on strengths, you can lead more effectively and positively influence those around you. Chapter 5 Cultivating Kindness, Positivity, and Friendliness In social interactions, certain habits can significantly enhance your ability to connect with others and achieve your goals. By embracing kindness, positivity, and friendliness, you can cultivate a powerful network and positively influence those around you. You're at a social gathering, meeting new people, and catching up with old friends. There's something that stands out, the people everyone gravitates toward have a common trait, they're genuinely nice. Being nice is a powerful yet simple way to make friends, be liked, and influence others. Even if you encounter those who try to take advantage of your kindness, it's worth the risk because the majority of people you meet will appreciate and reciprocate your good nature. Confront those who abuse your goodwill and remove them from your life, but remain nice to everyone else. Every person you meet has something unique and special about them, focus on discovering and appreciating their gifts. Think about the people you enjoy spending time with. Are they optimists who always see solutions, or pessimists who find problems in every situation? Most people prefer the company of optimists. Being positive and spreading good vibes can make you a magnet for others. Optimism isn't a genetic trait but a mindset that can be learned. Optimists interpret setbacks as temporary and opportunities for growth, while pessimists see them as permanent and personal failures. Lift others' spirits genuinely, combining positive thinking with passion and hard work. The best way to get what you want from others is by being friendly. It's surprising how often people forget this basic principle. Unloading your anger might make you feel better momentarily, but it rarely helps the other person or encourages them to assist you. 
Friendliness tends to be reciprocated, while anger usually breeds more anger. Even when it's challenging, maintaining a friendly demeanor can change minds and garner more support than confrontation. The author, Dr. Joseph Murphy suggests that the ruder someone gets, the friendlier you should become to win them over. Being friendly is a simple yet powerful way to influence others and achieve your goals. Embracing kindness, optimism, and friendliness helps build strong relationships and leads to personal success. Cultivating a positive outlook and constructive communication are key to influencing others and achieving your goals. Chapter 6 Developing Self-Esteem and Addressing Your Problems When you walk into a room full of confident people, you can quickly sense who genuinely believes in themselves and who is merely putting on a show. To become truly attractive and influential, you need to develop real self-esteem. This isn't the same as being narcissistic, arrogant, or selfish. Those displaying false self-esteem often lack genuine confidence and self-respect. Their showy behavior is a facade, hiding their insecurities. True self-esteem is humble and doesn't require constant validation. Surround yourself with people who have genuine confidence, as they tend to uplift rather than judge you based on achievements. While striving for good relationships, it's essential to recognize that not everyone you meet will like you or support your growth. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, you simply won't connect with certain people. Accept that around half of the people you meet won't be a good match and that's okay. Stay authentic and don't change yourself to gain their approval. It's important to set boundaries and avoid toxic individuals who drain your energy and bring negativity into your life. Instead, spend your time with those who motivate, believe in, and uplift you. Positive relationships can significantly enhance your self-esteem, success, and overall happiness. Do you know someone who constantly complains about their problems but never takes action to solve them? It's exhausting to be around such negativity. The key to avoiding this trap is to tackle your problems head-on. Avoiding issues only makes them grow, eventually leading to bigger crises. Addressing problems immediately can reduce anxiety and prevent them from recurring. Viewing problems as challenges or learning opportunities can make them easier to handle. Remember, each problem you solve strengthens your resilience and prepares you for future challenges. Focusing on genuine self-esteem, spending time with positive influences, and addressing problems immediately significantly improves your relationships and overall well-being. Embrace these practices to create a more harmonious and fulfilling life. Final Summary In this summary to How to Become a People Magnet by Mark Recklaw, you've learned that success and happiness are closely linked to your ability to build strong relationships. Improving your people's skills significantly enhances your personal and professional interactions. By showing genuine interest in others, asking thoughtful questions, and listening attentively, you create positive impressions. Remembering names, offering sincere compliments, and maintaining eye contact can further enhance your connections. Applying these principles is essential. It's not enough to simply know them, you must put them into practice. Start small. Express gratitude regularly, acknowledge positive traits, and keep a warm smile. These actions will lead to meaningful improvements in your relationships. Ultimately, the key to better relationships lies in your willingness to apply these tools and maintain a positive outlook. Choose the methods that resonate most and start there. Small changes will lead to substantial benefits, enhancing both your happiness and success. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.